Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a rare video game video. Look at us. I uh, wanted to put a quick video up um, and show you guys the newest addition to the garage. Um, this is not mine. This is my dad's. Um, he bought this, I think, I want to say like eight years ago. Um, and it is a electromechanical pinball machine from Williams called Base Hit. 1967, I think, the year is. I can't find a year on this, but... Um, this thing just got completely restored and it is absolutely amazing. Um, so I wanted to just shoot a video and show you guys. Um, I used to have a pinball machine in here and I sold it a while ago, a long time ago, probably five or six years ago now. It was a taxi pinball machine. Um, and we played it, the kids liked it, but they were much more into video games. Um, so we got rid of it. But um, this was a game that my dad played as a kid a bunch and he found one. Um, like I said, I think it was about eight years ago. Found it on eBay, I think, and bought it. Didn't work. Um, got it fixed, and it was sitting in his office forever. And it kept having issues, because I think it wasn't getting played. So um, he decided, I think last year, maybe it was the beginning of this year, that he wanted to get it completely restored. So it just got dropped off today, and it's amazing. Um, the entire cabinet got re-stenciled. You can see. Um, the back glasses, I don't know if they did any touch-ups to this, um, but it is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then back here, got all, I don't know if there was touch-ups done there, but it's just super, super clean. And the play field is crazy. This thing is just absolutely beautiful now. It's nuts. So um, this is a really simple, really fun game. Um, the control panel is got all redone. Looks like the legs got powder coated. Um, the coin door looks like got, I don't know how they finished that, if they sprayed it or if it got powder coated. It's just, it's its crazy. It's unreal how clean this thing is. Um, this little plate got cleaned up. This got, you know, refinished. Um, it looks like the instruction cards are new. I wish I had a before video of this so you guys could have seen what it looked like. It wasn't in bad shape, but it definitely did not look like this. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I want to say the back glass was flaking. This might be a, a, I don't know if that's a new back, back glass or not, but um, it's just, it's incredible. Um, but yeah, it's it's a really simple, really fun one or two player game. Um, there's, you basically, I mean, you're playing baseball, right? Base hit, you just try and score runs. So um, there's three pitches that you can throw, fastball, curveballs, and knuckleballs. And there's little magnets right here at home plate. So when the ball comes out of here, um, it'll move, you know, depending on what, um, pitch you through and then you just take this bat and go like this and you'll swing in this little flipper will go and it'll hit the ball coming out and there's ramps um, and you basically just try and hit these targets and there's actual runners that will come up and run the bases and when they score it keeps your score and you basically just try and get the high score on it so um, I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to it's gonna be hard to set a camera up to show the gameplay for this because there's an upper and a lower play field but um, I just want to get a quick game just to kind of show you guys how it works it's really really cool um, and it's really fun <laughs> that this is here now um, and we're hoping that there's no issues with it moving forward because I think it'll get played a lot out here the boys have already been playing it I guess I just got home from work so um, this thing's freaking amazing I love it I absolutely love it so let me see if I can figure out how to set up uh, <laughs> this camera and uh, get some gameplay going. All right, go ahead, bud. So, hold on, hang on a second. So, you went way too fast. <laughs> so you press a button to pitch, the ball come out, and then you hit it, and then once the ball hits one of these targets, the runners will run, so let's go ahead. So that was a double, so the runners run. That was a double, and then as soon as you score a run, a run scores. That was another double. I think we can do it like this. You can't hit it twice, you cheater. You can. No, that's cheating. Double. 
So if you hit it and it just rolls back down, it doesn't count for anything, right? Yeah. No, actually. If you, you just get it. You just get another pitch. Yeah. No strikes. No strikeout. So that's an out. So every time you start a game, this score to beat goes random. So if you score 33 runs in this game, you'll get a free game essentially, right? Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah, but that's in the arcade. You can do it. Dang it. That was an out too. So a single. It's fun to watch these little guys run. There's a little, a little mini router that can go under. So that's three outs? Yeah. Yeah, so that's essentially the gist of it. It's hard to video that since there's an upper and a lower, but um, cool game. Cool EM game from Williams. And when it starts, it's really cool. Check it out. We're going to get a lot of play out of this. So, uh, random arcade video. What's that number up there? To end, uh, runs. Okay. What's this number? That white number. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe it's the second game that you're. Maybe it's the second game you're playing. Probably. I'm not sure. We'll find out. But yeah, random uh, arcade video to close out 2020. It's been yeah. a dumpster fire. Hopefully, this is a sign of things to come. Maybe we'll do more arcade stuff. Hopefully, 2021 so. will be a bombshell. Yeah, whatever that means. So that's it. We're out of here. Peace. Uh, thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. <laughs> All that shit. <laughs> Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.